Hi, welcome to the budget full size keyboard build. Hello! What's up, guys? Saltstack here. Hope your day is going well. So, today we'll be building a full size keyboard. Big one. This is what I came up with right here. This is the Akko Monsky MG108 keyboard. The keycaps that I went with are these SA profile keycaps. And then the switches that I went with are actually two different switches because I don't have 108 switches. I have 90 on most of my switches. I went with the Akko Cream Yellow V3 Pro. I reviewed that in my last video, so if you want to check that out. These switches are actually like really good. And then the other switches that I went with are these Quano pineapple switches that I put on the numpad. Let's get started with this build. So the Monsgeek MG108 keyboard comes in different shapes and forms. They have a 75 key and then they have the PCB south facing or north facing. And then I've seen two colors, black and white. Let's get some things out of the way. This keyboard does not come with RGB or Bluetooth. Come on, man. It only comes with wired or 2.4 gigahertz wireless. This keyboard is classic tray mounted and is five pin hot swappable. It does have foam on the inside, which you'll see later. And then it has software called Mons Geek Driver, which you can use to customize the keys. But of course you don't have RGB, so you can't change any colors. On the back, you have your on and off switch, and then you can route your cables on this thing right here and also has stands. It is really hard to take apart, I have to say. It took me at least 10 minutes to take this keyboard apart. So if you're going to take this keyboard apart, yeah, just be aware, it's hard to take apart. The stabilizers are already good and I don't think you need to loop the stabilizers yourself. Although I did do it myself, uh, I don't think you need to because there's a lot of loop already on it. So in this part of the video, I'm going to take the keyboard apart and then I'll show you what comes on the inside. Taking this keyboard apart was definitely really hard and I do give it a thumbs down. Would not recommend. The keyboard comes with a good amount of foam on the inside and this is what it looks like. It's a shame that the battery in it is so small but I think it should be fine because there's no RGB or Bluetooth. And this is the process of lube and the stabilizers. This will make them sound better, but as I said, I don't think you need to lube them because they come with a lot of lube already on them. Unless you do plan on doing something else on them, such as the Holy Mod or the Band-Aid Mod or clipping them. But the pre-lube is really good. It's a good amount. Anyway, I'm gonna fast forward this process so we can get straight to the sound test and the final build.
I like how the final build came out. It came out really clacky slash thocky. Not enough thock, but a bit more clacky than thocky. I enjoyed building this and I think it looks really good. I'll definitely try out more keycaps on it, see how it changes up the sound. And hopefully I get to build another full size keyboard in the future, which is different. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, are you gonna build a full size keyboard? If so, good luck on that build. If you're watching this the day it's being released, the Zio GMK67 giveaway is gonna end today. If you're watching this on a different day, click on my website, see if there's another giveaway going on. Also, new wallpapers just dropped this month. It's called Waves. I think it came out really nice. This is one of them right there. If you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.